Hi everybody! I've got a specific person success story. I know you love them. It is from Sarah. My story begins in 2014 when I met my specific person. I will call him Jay. In a college class we had together, there was an instant connection and we began talking every day in Texas and hung out a few times before we admitted our feelings for each other. After a few months of dating, I began to feel weird because we would hang out like we were together, but we didn't have the official tag on it yet. It wasn't long before I told Jay I couldn't continue to see him because I felt like he would never commit to me. I regret this now because it made him feel like he had to commit to me in order to keep talking to me. That is what he ended up doing and we began a relationship. Needless to say, our relationship barely lasted a month because I felt a lot of fear that he would leave me and just didn't feel secure in the relationship at all. The last few days of our relationship, he would barely talk to me, so I confronted him and told him I knew he wasn't happy and we broke up. I was heartbroken and began to feel anxiety and depression symptoms on a regular basis. I felt so desperate and needy, I wanted any scrap of him I could get, so I would make up excuses to talk to him. At first he would send short responses, but after a while he completely ignored me and that really hurt. I knew about LOA, Law of Attraction at this point, but until a few months had passed since the breakup, I had been too overcome with emotions to care to try to use it to turn things around. Over the next few years, I would manifest him back in my life for a few weeks at a time or a month before my emotions and thoughts got the best of me and I'd lose him again. I began to see the pattern. I would let go of the situation and be happy and in a happy place and then manifest him back and the feelings of neediness and desperation and all the buried feelings would resurface because I hadn't dealt with them and it would drive him away again. Finally, I found Agnes and her videos at the beginning of 2018. I knew I had a lot of work on and had been searching for ways to heal my wounds and work through my problems for a while before she came up in my YouTube recommendations. I felt like she was an answer to my prayers. I began immediately watching her videos. At the start, I only did the techniques because I wanted to bring him back. I got frustrated when I didn't see results right away, even though I was feeling happier in general. It took me a few months to realize that I needed to focus on me. I knew that I, from Agnes's videos, but I didn't really see how important that was until that point. So, I focused on me and for several months between April and October, and I just let go of getting my ex back and focused on being happy on my own. During that time, I worked hard to let go of my demons about Jay. I let myself forgive him and, I, and myself as well. I got really busy around August as I began student teaching and focused most of my attention around that. Come October 31st and I was really happy with my life. I had a Halloween party with the kids at school and I remember driving home that day thinking, wow, I am in a great place. I could manifest some amazing things right now. Later that night, I had a random urge to contact Jay. It had been around eight months since I tried to contact him and I was ready. I didn't feel worried about whether he would respond. I just sent the message saying, hey, and went on with my night. I let my good friend distract me and I had some fun. The next day I got a message from him. I was surprised that after all this time he was open to talking to me, but I also knew that I had changed and I was not putting out the same vibes I had been in the past. <sighs> from there, we talked for five months. Everything felt different than the other times. I manifested him back for the short periods of time. I felt stable and happy and I knew I didn't need him. I still wanted him though and talked to him made me happy. Fast forward to now and things have changed dramatically. We talk every day and we hang out every weekend. We're dating again and Jay wants to take things further this time. This time it's me holding back on making things official. I now really appreciate the process of slowly getting to know each other again. And I believe when it feels right, we will be in a relationship again. I learned a lot through having Jay in my life. And I know now that I have to be happy alone before I can ever expect to be happy with someone else. Nice, 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 Sarah. Brilliant. So, excellent. Good learning. That's, yeah, that's great, great, great. So, Firstly, 
I will put the playlist down below for those of you that haven't heard the other expats a specific person success stories I'll put that playlist down below I will also say for those of you that have been well not interviewed but I've read your story if I haven't interviewed you because I've get all scrambled as to who I've asked and who I haven't if any of you have not been interviewed for your success story and you would like to be please contact me my email is in the description down below okay Ciao everybody.